Good morning from my smartphone to yours. I'm Love Casting from Costa Mesa, California. And it's Friday. Thank God it's Friday. Good morning and namaste and welcome to namaste today my name is christopher otecki i am a psychic astrologer and the sensei to serious joy here to stand in my heart and guide in the light it's finally friday friday october 16th 2015 and today the human walk has progressed to step 23 libra now over the weekend you know i predict that this calm blue ocean of harmony and libra scales that we have been building might be tipped. Yes, that's right. I predict that the scales might be tipped this weekend. It might be new information. It might be a new understanding, a new way of looking at things. Basically, tomorrow, step 24 rules the day, and that's where we will decide whether or not we belong with something or don't belong with something. It's a very powerful uh, 24-hour period, uh, and we decide once and for all whether or not we're going to be dedicated to some sort of union or partnership or ourself or business or something like that. And because it's Libra, it's the creation of something. Everyone is creating something. If nothing else, they're planting a seed in their mind that will grow into something in a few months. So it's a powerful weekend. But today, step 23, ruling the day, means that we're going to mastermind in the next 24 hours, get our mind around something, and try to come to a new idea, or maybe even open our, our minds to something new. And it really begs the question of today's topic, which is changing our mind. What does it take to change one's mind? And what does the architecture of incarnation say about our mind? Well, step 23 brings, boils it down. Step 23 is what we feel and trust, step 20, plus what we believe, step 3, equals step 5, I think. Now, because it's an I think on the highest level, there is no greater I think than step 23, all right, that's as high as a mind goes in a given transit is step 23. Therefore, the highest mind on something is step 23. Therefore, the mastermind of something is step 23. And I'll just go ahead and say anyone born with step 23 of any sign is a mastermind or a master intellect of something in their life. Now, that said, what does it tell us? It tells us that a mastermind is built on emotion, step two, and belief, step three. So when emotion and belief are united, in other words, they agree, the mind can label that agreement. Uh, feels right and I believe that, so yeah, right? So we're going to be doing that. We're going to be changing our mind through the weekend. And we're changing our mind really not because of information. Our mind will want to attribute to information. Our mind will want to attribute to um, time, space, something we can count, something outside. The mind will try to point at something it can attribute to but I'm saying, Sensei says, what changed are your feelings about something or your beliefs about something. And that brings us to today's 5 o'clock question. Today's 5 o'clock question is designed to kind of help you through the weekend about changing your mind. And what I say to you is, you know, as an exercise, so to speak, um, you know, find something that you're trying to find balance with in your life right now, a relationship having kids, something you're weighing back and forth in Libra fashion. I mean, because Libra is balanced, it's a part of us that goes back and forth. So whenever you go back and forth about something, that's your sense of balance that's trying to find balance. That's what the back and forth is. You're trying to find the balance. That's why you're going back and forth. So find something in your life you're trying to find balance with. God knows there's something. You are human after all, right? <laughs> and ask yourself this. Okay, um, identify what it is and ask yourself, first of all, how do I feel about this topic right now? How do I feel about this topic? How do I believe about this topic? So ask yourself, how do you feel? How do you believe about this topic? Then, as the FU, the follow-up question, go back to 2003, 12 years ago, the last time Jupiter was in Virgo, and ask yourself, hmm, with the same topic, may not be the same person or same job or same whatever, but in general, how have your feelings changed since 2003? How have your beliefs changed since 2003? 
And incidentally, this conversation we're having right here, you and I, may be what changes your feelings or your beliefs. And new information that comes in over the weekend may change your feelings or your beliefs. If you knew this, would you believe the same? I'm going to give you one little powerful example that I like to throw out there whenever I'm in a powerful debate with people about forced immunizations, okay? This is a very, very powerful topic in California. Right now, California is going back and forth with a legislature about whether or not we should force uh, kids to be immunized 100% in the school system to allow them to participate. And I believe it's going to the Supreme Court now uh, of California because it goes against our own supreme, our own uh, constitution, of California, because now we're banning kids from education based on a bias or something. I'm not sure, but it screws up with the law because it's a weird law. So a lot of people get really, really heated and debated about their feelings about immunization for kids um, because they feel one way and they believe another way. All right, uh, and so their mind wraps around this or that. Now I will say that when I've watched mass media, okay, which is the mass media present this, it's always presented the same way, which you got this lunatic who's like a total hippie that doesn't want his kids to ever have a flu shot, and that lunatic is probably harboring weapons somewhere, and then you have this good old-fashioned Republican mother on the other side who doesn't want her babies to get sick, and it's like these two sides fighting. Let me introduce to you a whole other idea. My argument with immunization has always been, I, I want to know what's going into those shots, if, if Volkswagen can create a beetle that will trick the United States, give me a forgiven break. I don't trust pharmaceuticals and what they put in these things. I don't, where's it coming from? Is it chicken fetuses that they start with and then they get like something, the measles, and then they, you know, what do they do? Don't tell me if they're filing patents, they can tell us. So for me, it's the transparency, the idea that Congress could pass legislation that puts something into my body that's not tested, that's not background checked, that I didn't have any choice over either as far as the manufacturer. They don't offer me, you know, if they offer you brain, name brand or generic, of what? Egg feces with a measles virus? You know, that's my point. So the point is, is like, okay, I just gave you some new information. Did it change your feelings about it? You're going to have information. I'm not trying to change your feelings. I'm just trying to represent the idea of masterminding something. That masterminding is based on feeling and belief. And then you can introduce a new piece of information. It can change your feelings or it can change your beliefs. Or you can introduce feelings and beliefs to change your mind. This triangle is the mastermind. It's the architecture of incarnation. And it is what will tip or change over the week's end here. So that said... Um, I think that's good for that. For that, I think I brought everything up I wanted to with this. The only last thing I want to say is tomorrow on Saturday, and I'll and I'm going to go here into meditation and talk to my guides here in a second. This is my whatever side brain. <laughs> I can't think of it. My logic brain is being logical now. Um, tomorrow Saturday is the day where things could get disrupted. People might feel like they change belongings. Doors may slam. Doors may open. Um, lovers may embrace. You know. Dogs and cats could be sleeping together. You know what I mean? Like, it's step 24 Libra. That's the grand master degree of Libra. So there may be hell for the first turbulence, but it will all work out later. Okay? And speaking of hell and turbulence, I will say this. If you're watched over my personal Sensei Network, we have decided to procrastinate going live for another two weeks due to a new system we're implementing as well to make it better. So I'm just putting it out there. You'll get a video tomorrow talking about all that too. So without further ado... Let's check it with my guys and see what they have to say for the weekend uh, and, um, and your guidance. Hmm. That's interesting. So what are they pointing out there? Holy shit. Okay. <laughs> so they go, they go Mars and Jupiter. And I'm like, what's going on with Mars and Jupiter? They're conjuncting. That just, you know, if you want to know how incredible this whole psychic thing is, um, they're conjuncting. Wow. In fact, looking at this... So, okay, so Friday's a powerful day. Mars conjuncts Jupiter. When Mars and Jupiter collide, remember I talked about that, like the age of Aquarius, when Mars and Jupiter align, they're aligning today, okay, friends? And that means you must go, th go forward with what you believe, okay? So let me give you, this is the example, oh, they're giving me the example that I love to give, which is like, let's go back to 1776, actually before that, more like 17, I don't know, have the exact history dates, 1742, okay? When basically people start organizing 
because they either are with the Brits in this whole taxing thing or they're not with the Brits in this whole taxing thing. Now, it's way before the Boston Tea Party. It's way before any of these events. You've got to decide right now what you believe before knowing the outcome of the re-evolution. You have to decide right now what you believe, okay, and go with it. And go with your heart. So remember how one believes is to go with their heart. Now, that's not a threat, but it kind of is. <laughs> you know, I just want you to know, like, my guys are like, it is. I was like, okay, all right, all right. Like, it is a threat. Well, Chris, that's why we use take, you know, use you. Um, and you know why? It's so funny. Mercury is conjuncting Black Loth right now. So uh, that's very interesting. I'm realizing right now, too. Hmm, so interesting. What, what that means is that you will see your fears come true, your fear op opportunity come true. You'll also see probably your, uh, you know, your worst fears come true in the next 24 hours. Not come true in the sense of like literally against you, but like you'll see how it could happen. You'll see where it almost happened. You'll see where you narrowly averted it. You'll, you'll see the boogeyman and you'll be like, oh, <laughs> walk right by. I mean, whatever that means in your vocabulary, you will look the devil in the eye in the next 24 hours, your devil, whatever that is, and come face to face. What I'm really on cameras, I already did that. I always run about 24 hours. I was like, oh, I so did that. The universe tested me the last 24 hours, and I'm not going to go into it right now, but it's kind of like, I, I, but I knew right away, I have to say, like, I could feel that this was a test, test in the sense of it was the devil tempting you back, and that's something I guess I'll just share. Devil tempting you back would be like exes showing up out of nowhere, which was my case. <laughs> just say like, oh, you know, like, and in, in this case, that is literally your past thinking, your past way of behaving, your past way of relating, your past way of being in balance. So with Mercury crossing, uh, with Mercury conjuncting Black Lil today, people are trying to separate in their mind fear from reality, and it's time to go with what you really believe, and there will not be necessarily any evidence. You have to go with what you feel, step two, and what you believe, step three. And it's like, well, Chris, will we have time to turn back? Sure. But we'll be already down the river, through the woods, and off to grandmother's house. So if you want to stop then and turn back, go right ahead. The rest of us have gone 60 miles in the new direction. So, yes, you can turn back, but at this point it gets dangerous. You best live by... So what does this come down to? It means that this is really a time for those who are chosen. Who are those who are chosen? Those are ones who live by their heart, listen to their beliefs, and move forward, says the universe. And so this is the weekend where you must do that. Oh my gosh, I didn't even see this. so funny. So the moon today is crossing over Saturn. Actually, it crosses Saturn early in the morning before we wake up. So there's an air of seriousness on the day. And that seriousness is for us to decide how we feel about certain things. So I believe that people be put into some sort of conversation with themselves in the next 24 hours about how they believe about something. And they'll be brought to inside this you know, the, again, this mastermind, but this mastermind conversation they're showing me goes on through Monday. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Okay. Wow. So I can feel that it goes on through Monday, but then I did the math. So it's step 23 on, on Friday, 24 on Saturday, 25 on Sunday, which means Sunday is a spiritual day. 26 is the day we decide. So we will commit on Monday. So basically they want you to know that we will commit on Monday, and this whole weekend is really about going back and forth, forth and weighing in measures. However, tomorrow Uranus is partly in part of this equation and is uh, where your tree belongs. So tomorrow is the day where you might surprise yourself, you might surprise others. Saturday, that is, uh, with uh, with what ends up happening. The scales may tip. Sunday is the spiritual day. Sunday is the day you log into yourself and ask yourself, "Is this right? Does this make sense?" And if the answer is yes, then you know when to commit and where on Monday. All right, I think I'm going to wrap up here, folks, because the sun is setting. I'm sitting up here in the Serious Joy Garden Studios. I'm getting ready for, gosh, what season is this? Really, my next season of TV. We're going to be upgrading Namaste today just a little bit, and I'll be launching my new service in a couple of weeks. So uh, it's going to be fun. Have fun with your adventure this weekend, and I will join you on Monday where we make commitments together about what is fair and not fair in our marriages and partnerships. Have a great weekend. Remember, I love you, and live, love, be.